Social engineering in simple terms is the application of deceptive strategies to manipulate an individual into divulging confidential or personal information that may be used for fraudulent purposes. It's not necessarily aimed at defrauding someone alone. The purpose could be to manipulate someone into doing whatever you want the person to do. If you have an online account, it's important to start watching for phishing attacks and other forms of social engineering. Even a close friend sitting next to you when you type in your password might end up using one or more of these techniques on you. According to Jenny Radcliffe, Director and Head of Training and Consultancy at the Jenny Radcliffe Training, he says there's a new breed of attackers who appear to be trained in psychology and are using that in new and efficient ways to get people in organizations to help them circumvent security controls. Attackers are no longer concerned with the technical controls, but instead get insiders to help by engaging with them and building trust relationships. These attackers are now getting more complicated, devising hard-to-get tactics to circumvent security strategies. It's therefore important to understand some of the sophisticated techniques of social engineering. Baiting. Most people are likely to fall for this technique. Baiting is when a hacker infects, for instance, flashes or USBs. He scatters it in a public place where people are connected waiting for someone to pick either the flash or the USB to use. Another way they get this done is by distributing malicious links on the web waiting for people to click on them. Pretexting. This looks very real in most cases. It is based on a scripted scenario presented in front of the targets used to extract some other information. You may have experienced this. Here is how it works. For example, when an email account is hacked and starts sending emails to the person's contacts requesting for money or any form of information from them with the aim of defrauding them. Vishing. This is a type of social engineering in which some hackers clone the interactive voice response system of a company. The hackers might attach it to a free telephone number, trick people into calling the number and entering their details. It's usually targeted at large sets of individuals. The mistake we often make is that we don't even think twice entering our information on IVR systems. Phishing. This is the most prominent form of social engineering. The attacker creates a website or supports the website of a well-known company, creates a malicious link and sends it to the targets. If the target clicks on the link, the personal information of the target is compromised. The fact is that you need to be alert when somebody is requesting for your information or when someone you don't know gives you something for free. The internet is not completely safe. That's why it's important to be security conscious always. Even when you log on to your social media account, it's quite simple for someone close to you to start guessing your password. Therefore, you need to be careful. Organizations are usually a better target. It behoves some of these organizations to start drilling their employees in how to handle situations like social engineering.